So yeah, last time the um, what we did is uh, well, I mean, we got to this step here uh, for the rendering of this character, and uh, we tried also uh, with the background, and uh, this this was a a lighting um, without the rim lights and everything. So um, I haven't looked at that project for the entire holidays. I just came back. Um, I finally have some. Uh, some time so um like now that i've looked at this um with a fresh eye uh what i have to say is that um the lighting uh the lighting without uh, the rim lights and everything fits better with the background and uh, the lighting without uh sorry the lighting without the rim lights fits better with the background. The lighting with the rim lights uh, fits better without backgrounds. So um, I'm going to take that in consideration for uh, for um, the uh, the next step. Like I might actually do two sets of lights uh, where when I'm going to do the render with the background, uh, it's simply going to be uh, um, like without the rim lights and everything. So uh, yep, we'll uh, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. So I actually um, wrote like a grocery list of like everything I need to do, um, like for like to complete like this uh, rendering phase. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, continue with my list. The first thing is going to be <laughs> make sure that the sword is not uh, going in the bricks. So uh, yep, I thought I actually. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of like the sword is chipped, so I don't even know if it's really going in the bricks. But le let's uh, let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, it's like barely going in, but still. I will remedy this situation. There you go. As simple as that. All right. One thing that I can check off the list. <laughs> yep. There's something else I wanted to do is um, the um, like for when I'm going to do my turntable. I don't want my turn my uh, turntable to be in complete uh, darkness. So um, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to test the smoke lighting that I had uh, for the uh, for the, uh, the, 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 the 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 four horsemen since I'm using the um, since I'm using the the same uh, render scene basically or the same idea at least. Beam bam yeah, treatiest max. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So uh, it doesn't show, but right, I think um, I have it. I have the smoke, uh, the smoke screen in this um, in this render. It's just it's not really apparent. So I'm, I'm actually going to just like boost its value a little bit because it's that it's that plane over here, that kind of like drop down plane. Um, should have the uh, the smoke on it. Uh, maybe there's a way to actually see it if I just put it in standard. No high quality. No. Huh. I'm sure there was a way to actually show to show it. This is the fog on the ground, which I will probably not use. Uh, this is a fake floor. No, it's really this one here. Okay. Um, so let's go in its material. I just um, I'm just gonna try to re quickly boost it. I don't want to get like bogged down with this detail for too long. Uh, so you see, it's like this map here. Probably like here, I dimmed it like a lot. Yeah. What's uh? It's at what point zero four? But let's boost it like this and see what it's gonna give. Uh, what are my render settings? Yeah, one. Okay. One of quality will be enough for the test. No saves. Uh, 
it seemed like the position of the model changed in the viewport, but uh, don't worry, it's uh, it's not. These renders are going to actually be uh, much quicker. Uh, well, I think it's like buffering something for like the first render, and then it becomes like much faster. Oh wait, okay, yeah. Okay. So you can see that's the that's the uh, the actual uh, fog I was talking about. Now it's maybe a bit too um, high, too high up. So I just have to drop it down. Um, and uh, like you see now, it's like much too strong. Also, let's uh, let's play with that. I think this one is frozen, right? No. Actually, going to use a uh, a new uh, FFD to play with that. Let's see what this gives. Of course, I'm gonna make the uh, the smoke more uh, dim, for sure, dimmer. It's just it helps to really see it clearly right now. <laughs> it just crushed it on itself. It didn't really lower it. Oh boy. Case, let me try something else. Actually, I'll keep this. I'll just deactivate it. Let me see if I can just play like with the UVs to lower it. begs the question if I actually have something on the floor right there. I don't know why there's like an abrupt stop for this. Oh, okay. Oh, it's... Uh, me that's uh forgot about something important
I actually made it uh, below the bricks. That should resolve it. Ah, uh, maybe I should have reactivated the UV one though. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I see that now it's gonna work. It's just a matter of like having this on. I just want to see my if my fog is gonna work. I had like a fog to kind of like hide the floor. Let's see what it's gonna. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize this. I think this actually will probably be be the best because it actually doesn't touch too much of the uh, Lawrence VDM, looking good around. Hey, thanks. Uh, maybe he stands on the fog like some kind of cloud. If it goes with the theme, well, it's more that like it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to mimic. <laughs> I think um, this a little bit higher will be fine. So I'll just uh, use uh, the UVs to. Put the fog just a little bit more high, and uh, I think I'll call it. Uh, I'll call it a day. I think this will be enough if I do this. Let's render one last time. Okay, 
So uh, positioning, I'm going to be... I'm happy with this. Uh, it's just a matter of dimming it and uh, maybe giving it a color as well. So I think the color is just uh, adding a base color to the material because the smoke is just a um, opacity. So uh, let's uh, let's test uh, <sighs> red, I guess. So, Last time, uh, put the um, this was at zero four, so let's try uh, zero seven. And also, it depends on like the screen how much uh, things um, you can see in the shadows, so um, it might look different on different screens. Yeah, right now it's not, uh, based on my screen, it's not visible enough. Let's try again. Yeah, this is just a little like glow thing. It's not bad. I think uh yeah, I think I can do with that. I think I can do with that. Okay, cool. Alright, let's um leave it to that for the moment. So, okay. The last thing on my list that I noted, um let's save while wow, this is So the last thing on my list, uh, no, next thing on my list was to make sure that I'm happy with my main light. So I fiddled a bit with it on the, I think the, I think the last stream. And um, although it's, um, yeah, I think I, when I look at it for um, what it is at the moment, I think I'm still happy uh, with it. Like uh, intentionally I hid half of his face it still lights the character well, the volumes are readable. Uh, when I look at it from afar as well, it's it's fine. Um, I find that the metal is a bit blasted, but if I lower the intensity of the light, it's kind of like problematic. So like the, 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 the little like blasting of white lights on the armor, I might actually just take a look um, at the roughness of the material maybe uh, later. So. Uh, in terms of the main light, I think I'm okay with what I have. After two weeks of not touching that character and going back to it, I'm happy with the results, so it's all good. Uh, lighting the background, so yeah. So the lighting the background, um, I'll require, it will require me to bring back the background first. Uh, 
All right, so let's do a little render like this. So the thing about the background, it's well, it's supposed to look exactly like this uh, scene here, right? Um, the thing about the background is that I'm going to have to make sure that the um, the lighting, uh, the lighting, the way that the background is lit actually also feel, feels like it's coherent with the way the character is lit, and this is why, like, I might actually turn off the rim lights for uh for this character um so yeah this is a oh yeah i wanted to get rid of the carpet carpet is no bueno anymore i kind of like decided to get rid of it anyways so this is how the the background is lit but i'm going to try to have it lit uh differently so uh First thing, I'll just fix something that's bothering me. Um, those candles, just want to have them not being red. It's not supposed to be like this. Uh, okay. Okay, where's that material? Oh boy. Base brick. This one. Base candle. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think it's the. Uh... Oh, okay. There. I'm not using. I think that's it. It's not using the subsurface color. I think that's why I forgot to plug this. what I thought. So that's fixed. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, first thing is uh, I need to have the background lit. So right now what's happening is that I've excluded the background from uh, receiving uh, receiving the light of the character. It's just receiving like one light, which I think is the main light. Because uh, if you click on any uh, of the background things, you see I have an Arnold um, property thing. And... Uh, uh, wait, where is that? Division. Light group, yeah, right, light group, there we go. So uh, basically this uh, modifier of Arnold properties is on pretty much all the objects in my scene and it basically says that it it will receive the light from the skylight and um, my main light, main 003, but will not receive uh, any of the lights. Uh, the light that's on the sword, the light that's coming from the left, the top, the right, and the second main light, which is off right now. I think the second main light was just for a test. Yeah, it's off anyway. Okay, so now the idea is that one thing that I would like to have um, for the lighting with the background is, uh, okay, well, first of all, let me turn off the rim lights. So, uh, I have to go one by one. There we go. I'll just re-render to confirm what I got. Yep, 
Okay, so this is what I have. So right now the only lights that I got is my main light. That's that one main light. I have a skylight that's uh, helping a little bit with like near the face here. And um, I have this, uh, the light that's coming on the blade here. Those are the only lights. And uh, I think what I'd like to do is like have more of a spotlight effect on the on the ground. This is something I wanted to try. Not sure if it's going to actually work uh, well, but uh, but yeah. So that was one thing, and also maybe like some light uh, coming from the sides a little bit for the background. Not sure, but uh, I'll need to try this. So this is going to be uh, part of my experiment for today. So let's just start by trying to create that spotlight for the ground. So, um, and yeah, normally I use like, well, I'm used to like spotlights in Max, but like, uh, I'll still use an Arnold uh, light for this. light a target. The target is going to be this guy over here. The light will come from the same direction as the main light. And this light here, I want it to exclude everything about the main character. So I'm just going to add an Arnold property on it. Oh no, 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 no. It's my, uh, it's the other way around. It's my guy who's, uh, so I'm going to exclude Exclude, uh, let's give it a name so I can actually control it better. I'm gonna call it uh, BG, BG, like background. Background spot, there we go, so. my Arnold properties, I can tell him to um, exclude background spot. There we go. So now if I re-render, I will have the, uh, the ground lit, but not the character. So, but the, the, it's, it won't look good because I haven't put the, um, the spotlight effect on the light. So I think I haven't put the uh, the strength of the light. It's not very uh, strong, so it's oh, it's, it's actually not even on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, it's on, but like I said, probably the strain is not enough. So uh, let's uh, boost the intensity. 
go for a good five. Okay, um, it's not lighting. Are you just rendering today or are you sculpting something? Uh, rendering. Oh, okay, it was, uh, it was an in exclude all for the uh, stupid. All right, that's why. One more time. Hey, I'm just making a statue like a diorama with two characters. Do you think I uh, would use this technique you've used with the frog? I mean, decimated in texture. Thanks for the attention. Well, I mean, that's how I. Um... What the hell's happening? Oh, okay, it's like the it's bouncing on the character. Oh, really? Is it going to bounce that much even after I calibrated it? Because I do not want that. I need. I might need to actually uh, remove the direct uh, the bounce. Huh. Okay. Let's. Uh, well, let's first uh, give it the proper uh, lighting. Um, well, you can use it for for your both of your character on the diorama. Technically, like my horsemen's are a diorama, and it uh, it worked well. Okay. All right. Um, so let's first give it uh, reduce the spread by a lot. Point one. This is like what's going to give it that spotlight effect. Um, how big? How big is this light? Maybe I can reduce the size a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of like bouncing of the light on the character right now, which like makes it look uh, washed out, like diffuse. Yeah, there's still a lot of bounce, but uh, at the same time, the, uh, the spotlight is uh, still very strong. But we see that like now where the area of effect is, so we're getting closer. Let's uh, have it maybe more in the center of the, the character. Let's augment the spread. It was a bit too tight, so twice. By putting it twice, it's going to reduce it in density, but I'm still going to reduce it in an intensity even. A bit strong. Also, it's very washed out. I would have thought that, like, uh... I mean, the stone has like a bluish color, and it doesn't even show, so, uh. Spread looks okay, though.
Hmm. Let's check. Uh, check something. Let's exclude the main light from. Uh, It's also saving. Well, technically now, the my background elements should only receive uh, the light that's dedicated to them and uh, the skylight, which doesn't light that much anyway. Okay, I think I have a two. I have a different. Uh, Arnold uh, properties for everything. Yeah. For the, the floor and uh, the rest of the, the background. I also remember why I would have done that. No? Just by, just for like the control of it. No? So yeah, now the background is really not lit as much, which is kind of like like what I wanted in the end, except that like I want to add like some light sources now from that. But I think that I'm going to uh, start with uh, with this. It's kind of like a a good point. Um, I'll still reduce the intensity of the that spotlight though. That should be all right. Let's now light the background a little bit more. Okay. Um, since I wanted to have the same properties, I'll just duplicate. The BJ light, PG light, sorry. G back uh, left. Yeah, also, I was actually looking at like giving like a certain warmth to the lights, so I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should have like start now with the. Well, I mean, I'll probably need to do it for the main light. Or I can always play with the warmth of the lighting in the post. That is also something that I can do. But I was thinking of like having the uh, making as if like this this the, the the part of the scene is lit by the uh, by some like a uh, fire torch like near. So this is why. Uh, Let's remove the target for this one. Let's just name. Uh, 
And there's a lot of that that I am experimenting myself uh, with this uh, this project because uh, I never do I never do environment lighting. So I think it's uh, it's fair to say uh, take some leave some. Um, am I gonna keep the spread? Yes. Let's just see what this gives. Uh, okay, so it's only only touching the floor. Why? Okay, they're not included. But also I don't want the, the red light to really like touch uh, the, the um, the floor near the characters, so I'll need to move the light anyway. But there we go, at least we see like now we have like this light coming from the background, so there's at least that. It's just a matter of uh, uh, making sure it's pointing in the right direction. Test this. All right, so it's still touching the uh, the floor. Probably the spread needs to be uh, changed. Yeah, or I can just change it to spot.
Okay, sorry, I was uh, fixing something over here. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, this is... <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh my god, my light were instanced. That's why it's doing this. My god. Okay, so... That was a mistake. Let's turn it off. Let's fix this one. Oh yeah, I have to check, change the spread also. Forgot about that. give my main light the same hue. It's probably not going to make much of a difference. Oop. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. That's pretty strong. A bit too... A bit too warm. Yeah, there we go. That's just a little, little hue that's good. I'm going to give the sword light also. Okay, cool. Now really back to, back to where I was. Uh, so the background spot left. Now I can test it knowing that both of my lights are truly uh, disconnected. So I got the background that's lit from here. Um, I think I'm gonna need to uh, fix the... Yeah, so it's this light here. It's the orientation. Or maybe have it as a point light like this, kind of like mimicking the source of the fire and just controlling how much it spreads. I can do that with a point light, control how much it spreads. Radius. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oops.
<laughs> That's not what I wanted. Wow. Why did it do that? They're well men. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. This is not an instance, that's good. It's not what I wanted. The other light is not really pulling, it's uh... Pulling its weight. Okay, I think it's the same mistake once again. I need to include it here. Yeah, okay. It's just a, naturally goes into the exclusion. The exclusion category. It's probably going to be like too strong now because I kind of like compensate for it. Yeah, and I already tell it's too 
that's wrong. I want to test if actually the light is kind of like bluish. Is this Arnold? Yep, it is a Arnold renderer. actually test uh, see what happens if I actually include the character in this uh, in the background lighting like this At some point also I'll be adding some uh, depth of field to the camera so that the background is uh, actually blur blurred out. Now. Uh, still more dim. I'll see also, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll create some lights from the, the candle uh, candlesticks at the back now. Like we won't see the flame necessarily, but we'll see the, the flame I'll just add it in post. Uh, but. So it's getting uh, it's getting not bad. I mean, if I compare it to like uh, what I had before in terms of like, you see, that's what I had before. That's what I have now. A little bit of added mood. Just see if I actually add the, the character in the lighting. Please, the lighting of the back lights, that's what I mean. I don't think it's gonna make much difference, but let's see. Shal Shashka, thank you for the comment. Much appreciated. Oh, it gives a little bit of like rim light in this section here. Let's uh oh, and a bit of light coming from here. It's kind of like not bad, I think. Let's compare it to yeah, it does bring some some nat more natural rim lights actually. That's not bad. 
It's pretty good actually. Fantastic job, you are too kind. Pistol beat, hello, pistol beat. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's reduce the intensity of uh, the red light at the back. It's just a bit maybe intense. I'm wondering how how this lighting is gonna look is gonna look if I remove the background because I, I like I said at first I was thinking of actually having like some custom rim light for when the background is black and some more. Uh... Did you see like like maybe I could do with those rim lights here because like they're more like subtle. Anyways, they fit a, they fit with the background that's for sure. Like. For me, like this background feels like it's blending relatively well, so I'm happy about uh, I'm happy about that. It's funny; it seems like I'm missing a brick right here, <laughs> like in this area here. It feels like there's yeah, <laughs> I'm missing like a few rows of brick. Kind of like showing. Let's see if I can. Uh... Oops, wrong button. There you go. Um... There we go. Let's just confirm by rendering it real quickly and checking my grocery list. All right, so light background. More spotlight on the floor that I did. Light background that I did. I'll just do a little test with the candle lights. So maybe what I can do is I can try to actually introduce a little bit more skylight to see if uh, I want to just globally light the environment a little bit more. Let's do a, let's let's do a test right now actually. The intensity is at 0 0.1, so really not a lot. Give it a good 0.4 and see the difference. So the skylight is basically the HDRI that I put in the scene. Uh, it's, it's just really there to be there. It's, it was not really doing anything for the scene, but you see by lighting this, it really completely lights the scene uh, more equally. 
Uh, but that's much too strong right now. Should go for the only double, because I was at point one. So I don't want to get rid of my like my strong shadows. I just want to compare before and after. You see, it does light everything a little bit more. Let's test like an in-between. At 1.5. Like I feel this might be a little bit too lit, like it's still losing the uh, atmosphere. So yeah, it's a bit more, uh, I'll just want to test on another of one of my screens. Yeah, I mean, so the screen I'm using actually has tendency of making things like pretty dark. Um, so like when I look on the other screen, it's, yeah, I, I don't think boosting the skylight is actually going to help me. For what I'm trying to achieve, so let's uh, put it back to one. Let's cut our losses. Okay, let's try to do like a little uh, candle lighting. So I'll do a copy of uh, one of my spotlights, uh, uh, pin lights, I mean. Let's place it on the candle to be accurate. Cool. Now let's do an instance of that and another instance of that. Probably I'm gonna have to reduce the radius by a lot. Let's just see what it what it gives. It's no, no. I already know it's going to be terrible. Like I should reduce the radius and the intensity. You know. Okay, and of course I forgot to remove them from the exclusion. a bit intense. So let's, uh, yep. Let's go and fix this. 
Let's take the candle. Let's reduce the radius by a lot. Let's say three, intensity, two. It might be not enough now, but we'll see. And also I will test to see if I should have this lighting on the character. And so you see there's like a little warmth coming from the, uh, the candle. I'm gonna have to reduce the SSS of the candle though. Okay, yeah, so it's not really making anything for like the lighting, so I'll augment the radius maybe 5, intensity, point three five. Um, maybe I will also move the lights up. Like technically they are where the, the wick would be. Maybe just a little bit higher. Try this again. If I can actually have some rim lighting on the face coming uh, from these lights, uh, I'll take it. Like I don't mind having rim lights for my uh, for this scene. It's just a matter of like making sure that the uh, they look credible. Oh, the huh. things. First of all, I will add the candles to the character. And um, I'll reduce the SSS of the candles so that the... Uh... Actually, I'll play with the scale. So now the rim light should appear on this face and uh, the SSS should be reduced from the candles. Uh, hello, Mr. Chaos. How long have you been working on this character? And please, how do you deal with anxiety when work in big project? Any advice? Uh, I've been working on this character since, uh, I think, March of last year. Um, I work on it only for the streams. So a little bit at a time. Oh, there's a little bit of a, a room light. It's very, very subtle, though. And the scale did not help with the candles. So I'll just uh, do this here. Scale in the other direction. Oops. And how do I deal with anxiety? Uh, that's really hard. Uh, right now I'm in a, I actually have a ton of anxiety these days. So, um, it's hard to say. I think it's, um, I think, uh, one of maybe, uh, the best thing is probably to, um, uh, it's hard to say kind of like you have to, you have to listen to you. That's for sure. If there's uh, something that like I haven't done in the past, uh, days is, uh, listen to my, uh, my inner voice, my, uh, my instincts or what I needed. So that's important for sure. Um, I mean, depends like what's, what's making you anxious about the, the, the project. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Like what, what's making you anxious?
anxiety as, oh, you want to finish the project? Um, and uh, is it is it your is it your project? Is it uh, your personal project, or it's for a client and you don't like like it? Can you elaborate just a tiny bit more? Ooh, nice theory there, Pete. Test with the spotlight. I just want to move them. See, what kind of result it's gonna give me if I push them in front of the columns. <sighs> ah, you got to. Good in the start of the project, but not good in completing it. And what's stopping you from completing it? The fact that it's just something that takes a long time, or you you don't know when to call it done. Uh, breaking it down into smaller components might help, giving yourself. Uh, yeah, that's actually this is something that I already do. Breaking down a big project in small components. Yeah in which each smaller objective and task give yourself a short deadline to complete it. Well, that's all good tricks uh, coming from uh, Master Pete over here. Jesus Velasco, hello, hello. All right. Okay, well, I have the lighting of the candle also that comes in play here. Wait, that's weird. Oh, no, okay, yeah, no, it's between those two that I need to compare. So you see, by moving the, uh, this, the, um, the fire kind of like in front of the scene, the, uh, the rim lights are starting to actually kind of like uh, have a negative impact on, on my model, or at least the one on the on the right. The one on the left is uh see I think I, I think there's like a a middle ground here that can be good. Like this one I won't move it, but this one I will move it a bit closer like this here. Let's try this.
Even if I take a long time, it doesn't end up being as good as it should. I think that's why the anxiety. All right, all right well, that's, a, that's an easy answer. Uh, you need to complete it and you need to start a new project. There you go. If it, in regards to that, that's what it is. And, there, and the, the way you get, get good, as uh, Pete is saying, is, yep, by just um, starting a new um, starting a new project. Like calling it done, and because uh, like you'll get better by actually like redoing the road a couple of times, not by kind of like uh, focusing too much on the details at the end. All right, there's now I'm going to jump into a detail. <laughs> I want to see if I can actually reduce the radius of the, the candle, but actually have the reflection rim on the head right there. So I'll just do a little test here. And I'll take my uh, candle and I'll change two values. One of the radius, I'll put it to one centimeter and the other one, the intensity, I'm going to put it at three. And I'm going to test this. Is it computer-based or GPU-based rendering? Uh, it's CPU. I prefer CPU with Arnold. The answer is more project. Uh, the answer is complete your project and then do another one. It's not... Uh, well, I mean, yes, more project will make you better, right? But, I, I mean, the nuance here is really about... Um, the nuance is really about... Uh, Being able to uh, just uh, like revisit, like not get like bogged down on like too much details. Pete, you cannot make that joke because I already made it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the light, the the candles. I think that the 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 the, um, the string of the candles was good like it was for the background. I think I'm going to create two sets of candles. Of candle lights. And one just for the, 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 the head of the frog. So, um, yeah, let's go back to our previous values. They were, I think, good enough. But I will duplicate this one here, clone, as light, uh, candle, frog, copy. Okay, it's not here, it's not on the character, but it is, there we go. Light candle frog. Cool. Let's augment the radius and intensity. Uh, sorry for lurking, uh, very sad. Uh, just wanted to ask if you're using the render farm here. It's very fast. No, no, it's just my computer. I just have the values uh, very low. The values for the, my computer, are, uh, uh, the values for the renders are very, very low. So it's just uh, easy to make like these tests. All right, so you see, like I have the lighting like the candles are lighting themselves in the background and the frog now has like a individual like rim light here let's see so 
that I'll remove it right now. I much uh, much prefer that. That's cool. There we go. And I got my uh, <laughs> I got actually my rim lights done uh, naturally, not even forcing anything. So that's nice. So that's what we have since since the beginning. We started at this. Um, we added. So the difference between before and after. It's just like uh, got the environment in the background. Yeah. Also, I changed the size of the hotel. Of the sorry the hotel is the name in French of the shrine. Oh, we talked about that last time. Jeez, altar. There you go. small test tweaking stuff I want to remove the left backlight from the character So like, just test on my other monitor as well.
and that is called some tweaking. I think that'll be good enough. All right, let's save that project as it is. So I want to also see the difference in between like I'm gonna remove from the base except for the the floor and I want to test in a in a black background how does it look compared to the uh, artificial rim lighting that I did from before oh it does light the the fog in the back though Yeah, I should tell the uh, background to be ignored by uh, ignored by everything. So let's compare this to this one. Yeah, so the... When I have the complete uh, black background, kind of feels like the uh, my artificial lighting is giving a little bit more readability to the volumes and everything but uh, with the with the background I do need um, yeah I do need the uh, to boost with the rim lights I feel it's just that the rim lights right now feel very cold Maybe I could actually just give them some uh, colors. I'm not in that level, I think I'm gonna... You only know you... I only know your work from about 2017. Oh, well, I mean, it's already a long time ago. <laughs> I've been doing this since, uh, like, for 12 years now. So technically, if I want to have the uh, go back to my effect, I 
I actually have to turn off everything that's about the background. So background left, background right, the background candles, turn them off. It's creating a new lighting scene. Uh, I'll keep the spot on since it's not affecting the character. Candle frog also. I'll call it BG to, just so I actually differentiate better. I'll reactivate my rim lights. Left, right, and top. And I'll give them some some colors. So uh, left here. Oh, do I still have it? The well. Let's go. Let's just go get it. Uh, BG back left. <sighs> I'm feeling that this color might be too strong, though. Well, let's start from there. And let's see. Or actually, just render like this. I have a neutral base. Cement control base. Um, uh, fog has disappeared. I'll have to play again with the fog. Start with that anyway. 28A. 29. Again, from there, let's play with the, the colors. So now let's do this. Let's test. It's probably going to be too strong. Probably gonna be too strong. Ah, not in not um, uninteresting. Let's uh, give some color to the other one. The one on the right. Start with the same color, but let's dim it down. Maybe a little bit more yellowish. Jacob, hey, how's it going? Now you're Intert. International known. Oh, huh, thanks. Uh, you're from Brazil. Cool, cool. I mean, the first time I saw your work was in 2019 Zebra Summit, the Sentinel Head. Okay, cool, nice. And it was a fun time going there. It's good to, uh, it's fun to know. Okay, so I feel like it was not saturated enough. Let's give it the exact same lighting and let's jump right away on the uh, top light. Let's give it already a color. But this one I'm really not going to go for uh, too much. There's a lot of artists from Brazil. It's uh, very interesting.
Okay, there we go. Let's see what's the difference. And the before after. Oops. Yeah, so it really does make everything much more warm. So that's, uh, that's very good for that. Now the question is, is it too warm? Might be, might be. I can play with the values a little bit. kind of introduced this working field for us when you mean uh, what do you mean by they yeah, so a bit Brazilian artists. Okay, you know that's what I uh, that's what I thought. Well, it's very cool. It's a it's a cool uh, cool thing to do as a group. <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, I think those results are okay. I'll check for fun if I put actually one of the, the light blue. Sometimes I like doing that. It doesn't really fit all the time though. So uh, that might be not a good idea, but let's just test. like it. Already don't like it. And do parameter change. Oh wait. And do parameter change. Come on. Alright, good. Cool. All right. So for the um, for the rim lights, uh, that's pretty much going to be it. Okay. Let's uh, check that uh, fog again that I was talking about. Or wait, if I give it the main light, is it going to? Hey, thanks for the follow. Alex Olivier, Gluco, Longhi, Rossetti were the first ones I saw in that order. Okay. Well, there we go. That's interesting to know.
feel like the fog is uh, not bad right there. Maybe a little bit darker. Oh no, I understand what you meant. Uh, you know them uh, as artists. All right, is that good? Tiny bit darker maybe. Man, my gross list is uh, starting to uh, to reduce. It's been two hours that I stream. Cool. Okay, that's nice. That's cool. See, I like that. I really like the one without the background. It's just like, it's more like focusing on the character. The background's a nice little setting that I played with just for fun. It's not like a... Yeah, like I said, I'm not like a super expert at uh, environments and stuff, so... I don't know, I think it... Uh, I think in the end... Uh, I think it worked. So in the end, okay, let's save this. So now I have this one, which is basically the one with the background. This one, which is the one that is alone. There are two sets of different lightings that give me different opportunities for rendering. Like this one, I'm gonna be able to make a couple of different angles with this one. I might do a turntable with this um, this light setting. This one is just for like that that shot here. I might need some like post-production, like vignette, adding some smoke, adding the a candle fire for sure but uh it's like a fun little thing anyway so for now for me like those actually uh work pretty well i'm uh, satisfied satisfied with this So the next thing on my grossly list, if I was to continue, would be to um, just check if that's the, the, the reflection that I want for my material. I was thinking of going back in the in substance and uh, actually just seeing if I need to augment the shine on the golden armor and reduce the shine on the metal armor. Uh, that's something I was actually thinking of uh, of doing. Uh, I wanted to maybe check if I need to sharpen anything, but this I will only know when I'm going to do a very like large scale render. Uh, and then I was going to find my camera angles. I was actually going to find my camera angles and um, yeah, I have my prepare my final shots and everything. Like we're very close to the uh the end here for sure. Uh what is the background in the render without the wall made of? It's just a plane with a picture of smoke. It's really just that. Nothing uh nothing fancy. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Should I try the the shiny metal now?
I could could give it a shot, maybe. I got this open. The wall is a little bit fake. No, the wall is uh, it's made in 3D. It's just it doesn't show right now in the the viewport because I put it uh, invisible. But it's a it's a phys physical uh, it's a physical wall. Uh, do I have another project in mind? Uh, yes and no. I'll need to check. Uh, I got a few ideas, but uh, nothing that really struck a chord, really. But uh, yeah, uh, twelve years. Are you? Are this enough to reach this level of quality? Um, what do you mean about the twelve years? Okay. Uh, what is the background in the render without the wall made up? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, insectoids was one of my. Um, my ideas, maybe. All right, let's open substance and just check if um, if I do a little like alteration of the materials. There another material that I'm not happy of the results. I think mostly everything I'm fine with them. It's really just like like is this metal too bright and this one and the golden one too. We'll see. Come to think about it. This might actually be the last, the last render for the frog, actually, because um, the rest is really just like finding whatever angle, but I, or maybe I'll. Yeah, maybe I'll stream it anyway. Man, I will really have streamed the entire rendering and uh, lighting process for this uh, this character. I was really not expecting that. All right, it's buffering, 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 buffering. Okay, and I'll add the modifiers on top of everything. So gold ruined, steel ruined, all right. So I'll add a filter. Why do I always forget how to do this? I just want to add a level pass.
not hide adjustment, I don't want to high pass it. I don't want to clamp it, blur it, bevel it. Can't be HLR perspective. Contrast luminosity. I'm sure there was just like one that was called level. Yeah, well, it's working. This is gonna change it a lot. Let's do it anyway. Let's test it at least. And this one is the opposite. This one I want to... A little bit more dull. Okay, um, yep, let's test that, export maps, uh, oop, it lost its, uh, its path. From here, oh, how did it, how did it lose its, uh, configurations? Uh, did you learn the concept in 2D first? Uh, no, I learned uh, 3D first. Um, do you have a warm-up practice? Do you have a good concept art exercise? I uh, don't have a good concept art exercise. I'm not, although I love to do design, I don't consider myself uh, certainly like a concept artist. Like I, 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 I love to dabble with designs and stuff and have my own style and everything, but I don't have like routines and stuff like that, um, especially when it comes to drawing also. Ah, no worries for the question, eh? T'as le gant pas sûr, bonne année! Comment ça va? Ça va bien, toi? Alright, so let's re-render. Let's see if it actually also changed the, um... You know what, I'll just flush cache. Just to make sure it really does go and grab the, uh, new textures. All right, let's see if it even got the memo. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it does. So it dulls, oh, it does not. Okay. No, I don't like what it does. So for the gold, it is a no. 
for the um the metal uh, for the uh, the shoulder another another test but I might just like leave it to that reprise au travail de retour dans Unreal ça c'est pour toi ou pour moi Flush cash, flush cash. Probably gonna call it a stream after that. Finish the last things on another stream because uh, I need to get going with some stuff. Yeah, it's not necessarily helping for my um, the brightness of things, so never mind that. I'll return it to its previous value, and I think I'll only make a test for the color of things. It's only going to be the uh, the metal that is darker. Yeah, and it's this one here. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's a bunch of Unreal Cell Fun. Uh, what is the original prompt of this frog knight? Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> it's made by hand. Made by hand frog knight. Really done. Hello, hello. Alright, flush cash, flush cash. Possibly the last render. Alright, it certainly doesn't make the armor darker. 
I'm gonna just compare real quick if I prefer it. Yeah, I think I prefer it dark like this. It's closer to the intention that I had at the beginning of uh, having him look like he has armors from different uh, different sets. All right. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that will be that. Yeah. I think that will be that. Um, or maybe is it a bit too dark? Nah, it's gonna be alright. Okay, that's it, that's it. So okay, so that's what we have that's what we have right now. Uh, let me save this, let me save this scene as well. And um Oh uh, yeah, what's the question? When are we getting some good AI for UVs and Retopo instead of the bullshit we see right now? Uh, that is a very good question. That is a very, very good question. Um, so, uh, yep, there we go. The um, That's what we have for the moment. Um, I can scratch this off my grocery list. Um, so basically, uh, what's going to be left for the next stream will be to uh, find the final angles that I want to render, um, test the depth of depth of field, and um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be like the last uh, time we touch uh, this character, I think, and that'll be the end of it afterwards. Uh, I think so. Like uh, because like there's not going to be like that much uh, composition. Uh, for this character, uh, since the the renders in Arnold are pretty much doing like a lot of the a lot of the work, uh, so uh, yeah, no, it's just uh, we're we're really uh, we're really getting uh, getting close to the end. Pretty much we're there. So, anyways, thanks for um, thanks for uh, joining once again, and uh, I hope. Uh, that was fun because it's a tedious process but uh, it's important in order to have nice renders and everything so uh, yep yeah. I hope everybody had fun and I'll see you soon take care <laughs>